This question is nice and vague, right? Which logically completes the text? Well, that can mean anything. But we're still going to go through with an eye for a dumb summary. We're not going to try to understand all the science in here. I can see that there's already a, a kind of crazy word at the beginning, carotenoids. I don't know what those are. I don't care. If they mention them, great. But clearly it's what they say about those things that matters. I don't need to learn or understand science to get these questions right. What, what is the main point here? Birds of many species ingest foods containing carotenoids, pigmented molecules that are converted into feather coloration. Coloration tends to be especially saturated in male birds' feathers, and because carotenoids also confer health benefits, the deeply saturated colors generally serve to communicate what is known as an honest signal of a bird's overall fitness to potential mates. So notice what I'm underlining. Right, we're, we're underlining words that have a connotation, that have a lot of uh, kind of meaning in them. Uh, we might just think of them as adjectives, right? Words like honest, words like benefits. So that's, I guess, a noun, but it has a, it has a descriptive power, right? So it's not a grammatical adjective, but it functions that way. It adds meaning, it adds description. So benefit, fitness, these are ideas that kind of capture um, a positive connotation and kind of have a little bit more oomph than the other words in the paragraph. Let's keep going. However, ornithologist Allison J. Schultz and others have found that males in several species of the Tanager genus Ramphosalus, I don't know how to pronounce anything, use microstructures in their feathers to manipulate light, creating the appearance of deeper saturation without the birds necessarily having to maintain a carotenoid-rich diet. These findings suggest something. So that other part's kind of hard. We've got some, some clues that I would say are kind of those very descriptive words. Um, they manipulate light. Manipulate, that's a really strong verb in this case, right? To manipulate is to kind of change, but in maybe a, a negative way. Um, creating the appearance, the appearance of deeper saturation without the birds necessarily having to maintain a carotenoid-rich diet. So if I had to dumb summarize this, the, the color means, you know, fitness or health. Um, but not always, right? It, 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 it sometimes means that, but, um, it's, how can I say this? Honest versus manipulation. There's two ways of getting there. All right. So I don't know. Let's see what this means. Which choice logically completes the test? The findings suggest that individual male tanagers can engage in honest signaling without relying on carotenoid, um, consumption. Well, there's that word honest, and that, that draws me in for sure. Um, but to me, this is a copy-paste trap. Let me write that down. A copy-paste trap. They're using the same word, hoping that your brain goes, oh, it's in the lines, and it's in the choice. That's good. I'm going to pick it, right? That They're repeating themselves. But they're not really repeating themselves, because they're saying that some birds use this thing to honestly say that they're healthy, fit, you know, sexy birds, but some birds don't. They lie about it, right? They, they can show the colors without actually having carotenoids or whatever. So it's not honest for those birds, uh, the tanagers in particular, right? That's what this, this particular bird was. Um, so this is tempting, but it, it's kind of the opposite of what they're saying. So let's move on. Uh, B, feather microstructures may be less effective than deeply saturated feathers for signaling overall fitness. Well, here, uh, this choice has a, a problem that I also kind of am drawn to. It's making a comparison. And in a sense, this passage is making a comparison. So um, it's not totally out of the blue here, but it is something that always sticks with me. When a choice makes a comparison, I really have to think, is it the comparison, is there a comparison in the lines. And here I think what's happening is they're saying that some birds are kind of got these carotenoids and others don't, but they're not saying which is more or less effective. So they're they're kind of comparing the the facts of the colors in the birds and the feathers, but they're not saying which one is better or worse, right? There's like maybe a, a tendency within us to say that the, the birds that are lying are somehow worse but that's us. That's not the lines. They're not saying that. So this choice is also a little bit of a trap. It's tempting, but the fact that it had a comparison made me just kind of be suspicious of it. And when I really thought about it, I, I know that it's not what the lines are saying. So uh, comparisons aren't always wrong, but there's something that you want to think about and check. Choice C, scientists have yet to determine why tanagers have a preference for mates with colorful appearances 
Well, that may be true, but that's not part of what we're talking about here. So they're, they are saying, in fact, maybe the opposite. They're kind of saying that we know that the, the color is a signal of fitness, so they would probably prefer more colorful mates because they're more fit, they're more healthy. So this is just kind of also the opposite of what they're saying. Uh, choice D, a male tanager's appearance may function as a dishonest signal of the individual's overall fitness, right? So they're saying that for some birds, it is an honest signal, except this bird, which doesn't have the carotenoids but is still using the colors, therefore it's dishonest, right? So notice that word was never mentioned, but it flows very logically from what we were saying, right? We presented a general kind of picture of what was going on with these feathers. Then they gave us an example that was a bit of a contrast, right? They in fact used the word however. So we have a contrast. And so it's no surprise that we go from the concept of an honest signal to a dishonest signal in this particular bird. So that's definitely better than choice D, which, you know, is ironic considering D has a completely opposite word, whereas choice A copied the exact word in the choice. So just remember, copy-paste traps exist. They're not always wrong, but um, if you see a word, or you're, rather if you're picking a choice just because it repeats the same word, mm, be careful. You might be falling for one of those traps and you wanna maybe think a little bit more deeply about how they're using the word and what it's saying about the idea in the lines.